It takes a new mind to see a new world. Like Henry David Thoreau wrote, it's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. I'm Dane Spots, and my mission is to unleash the most powerful force in the universe, your mind. Meditation. What is it? I'm Dane Spots. Let me tell you a bit about Zygon and our mission, and take you behind the scenes for a few minutes. Then I'll circle back around about why seeing a new world with a new mind even matters. Zygon got its start in 1986. I lived in Southern California at the time and had been experimenting with flotation tanks and sensory deprivation. I learned meditation and was on my own inner journey of personal growth. What happened to me was what they call a samadhi experience. It happened in one of those flotation tank sessions, an experience where, in an instant, I was accessing all knowledge and feeling connected to everything. It was like sticking my tongue into a 220-volt light socket. Anyway, I talk more about that in my book, Super Brain Power. The experience itself is almost impossible to describe in words. But what was more profound was that afterwards, for months, everything was different. My pupils were dilated all the time. My sensory acuity increased substantially. I could hear things far away. The grass looked greener. The smells were more intense. My intuition was off the charts. And the way I saw others and how they interacted with me was completely different. And I thought, if everyone could feel this way, the world would be transformed overnight. There would be no more wars. So I set out to find a way of making that happen. But I realized people aren't gonna get naked and float in sensory deprivation tanks in any big way. I learned that there was a similar effect when listening to certain forms of music while meditating. This was the late 80s, and we had Sony Walkmans and cassette tapes back then. And though everything was analog, perhaps there was a way to do something with this. Music can alter brain waves and shift consciousness. And everyone knows that a really great musical composition can stimulate creativity and cause epiphany moments. So that was my basis. I went into a studio and I experimented with sound phasing certain frequencies and working with harmonics. And to make a long story short, came up with a matrix that replicated closely a very deep meditation and the experience like I had in the sensory deprivation tanks. Next, I put tape sets together and I started giving them out to my friends, who, with the exception of a very few, all experienced amazingly deep relaxation and altered states phenomenon. I started selling them and it was an overnight success. Over the next five to six years, Zygon sold over 10 million copies. Even the CIA and other government agencies bought Zygon programs, allegedly to help relax their staff, even though they too were experimenting with mind technology, I later learned. All of that is history now. 25 years have passed. But the key discovery was this, and this is the big takeaway. The human brain is actually very easy to manipulate and alter consciousness with the right triggers and sound forms. And once certain states are achieved, it's like opening a doorway into the inner mind, your subconscious, where we store our self-image and beliefs. And this can be rewired, so to speak. This discovery meant that we could offer tools to re-script how people saw themselves and the world. And by developing a new mind, this allowed our mind warriors, as we call them, to experience a new reality. Think about that and how powerful it is. Lots of things had to come together to make all that possible. But in a nutshell, our experiment worked and people loved it because it worked. And we had to duplicate a lot of tapes, eventually CDs, and ship them to folks all around the world. Today in the digital world, we can deliver that same experience on your phone or tablet computer in a millisecond by streaming the programs direct to your headphones. 
and we developed a bunch of different flavors of this mind tech, all with a single goal of creating mind warriors and empowering lives. During and since those development days, I've received tens of thousands of letters and emails from people who made miraculous recoveries from life-threatening illnesses like cancer. We prevented suicides, saved marriages, watched people build better lives, and of course, helped some get rich, just because they had a tool to re-script their self-limiting beliefs. Again, the core discovery through all of this is that the energies of consciousness can be manipulated and open a portal into the inner mind or your subconscious, which is the driver of all our actions and behaviors. Our subconscious is scripted with erroneous beliefs that we pick up early in our childhood and forms a paradigm of how we operate in the world. It acts as our operating system. If you can reprogram this at a core level and replace the negative and self-limiting beliefs with positive programming, there's no telling what a person might achieve. I'm suggesting literally removing fear, stress, and the negative experiences we encounter which are caused by these inner programs. And if we can do that with one person successfully, we can do that with a hundred million people who will then positively affect others, and together we can transform the planet by achieving critical mass, one individual at a time. And that's the only real transformation that matters. As I said in my opening, it takes a new mind to see a new world. The mind, your mind, is connected to the greater consciousness of the universe. Now that's not some mystical woo-woo, it's literally how the universe, which is actually a giant information field, works. It's how it's organized. The engine that drives the universe is consciousness. And science is just beginning to grasp the meaning and truth of this power that's been spoken about by spiritual leaders for centuries. Lots more about this in the programs that you'll encounter during your Zygon experience. For now, in this short message, the idea is that by doing some very simple things, like listening to the Zygon programs over and over, they will automatically reorganize the way your mind perceives and rewire how your belief system is structured. And this has everything, and I mean everything, to do with how you will experience the world going forward. The universe has a way of mirroring back to you your internal beliefs about your expectations. If there's a way to transform those inner beliefs, the external reality you experience will line up with it over time to match. It's just how things work. And this is the key to your personal vault of success and happiness. Listen, you don't have to believe a word of what I'm saying right now, because the tools will open that vault for you automatically if you put in the time and let them work for you. But you have to make a commitment to do it. Decades of experimentation, trial and error went into the creation of these tools. And all it takes for you to profit from them is to decide what areas you want to focus on. Follow the instructions and dedicate some time to it. And like magic, you'll start to notice changes in your life, your attitude and how people react to you. And here's the big idea. None of us operates our life in a vacuum. We're in constant motion and in contact with others and we rub off on them, and they on us. This new resonance you will radiate will, and I guarantee it, have an effect on others that you meet casually, in business, and those that you're in a relationship with. And this brings me to my final point, and why being one of us, a mind warrior, is so important. Because it's not just about making your life the best it can be, but everyone else you come in contact with. So, what is a mind warrior? Well, this is a person who embraces the idea that mind is at the core of everything. And developing one's mind is the key to self-mastery, self-knowledge, and being able to see and operate in the universe in a new way. A powerful way that creates circumstances, not just reacts to them.
A mind warrior will go about life like anyone else, but their awareness is heightened. They see things. You will see things others just don't see. Make intuitive connections to solve problems better and faster. And more importantly, shrug off life's little annoyances and the many petty tyrants who will inevitably cross your path on your journey. When you do need to do battle, your mind will be sharper, better focused, and able to see the truth and make the best decisions. It's like being a Jedi Knight, to see ahead with clarity and know what you need to do to achieve your goals. And at the highest levels, a mind warrior is able to manipulate the energies of consciousness at a magnificent level to really focus that power and achieve at superhuman levels. And that's the point of Zygon and its mission. We provide the tools to assist our fellow mind warriors find their power and become their potential. It's a never ending work as we're all never ending works in progress. But as you'll begin to use these tools, which at first may only be about feeling deeper peace and relaxation, you'll see the greater possibilities. And so that's what this is all about, to walk the path of a true human being and actualize your true potential, becoming the best person that you can be, to learn, evolve, and transform our lives and the lives of everyone we touch. This is the path as we go forward in life, whether we acknowledge it or not. Your experiences will certainly be personal to you, but in the end, transformational for all of us. And if you stick with it, your new mind will be able to see a new world, a world filled with amazing possibilities.